five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy rocket. At T minus 14 seconds, the launch table HBOs ignite to burn off excess hydrogen injected into the flame duct. At T minus seven seconds, the starboard Delta IV Rofi lights igniting its RS-68A engine. Two seconds later, the center and port RS-68A engines ignite, generating more than 2.1 million pounds of total thrust to lift the rocket off the pad. This staggered engine start mitigates the fireball created by the hydrogen-burning Delta IV Heavy. Shortly after liftoff, Delta IV begins a pitch-over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 1 minute 21 seconds. At 3 minutes 56 seconds, the port and starboard booster engines shut down. Two seconds later, the port and starboard boosters are jettisoned to shed their weight. The center booster engine then throttles to full power to maximize performance against gravity losses. Approaching main engine cutoff, Delta IV is burning propellant at a rate of 1,945 pounds, or 882 kilograms per second, traveling at more than 12,725 miles, or 20,479 kilometers per hour, and located 130 miles, or 209 kilometers in altitude, 350 miles, or 563 kilometers downrange. At 5 minutes 37 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the main engine shuts down. Seven seconds later, the Delta IV separation system activates to release the first stage. The vehicle now weighs approximately 7% of what it did at liftoff. At 5 minutes 57 seconds, the Delta Cryogenic Second Stage, or DCSS, main engine ignites to carry the payload to orbit. During ascent, NROL-82 is protected inside a 5-meter diameter payload fairing. At approximately 6 minutes 7 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. Delta IV continues its national security mission following payload fairing jettison.